afternoon. Masks, social distancing and school closures if someone tests positive for the coronavirus. Today, the state released its back to school rules for the pandemic. Let's get to News 13's Annalisa Pardo. Well, we've been hearing a lot of these ideas floating around for the past few months. Today, they became official. The 25 page document from the Public Education Department explains how schools should bring students back in phases. We have some baseline requirements based on the best available health data that's really shown to reduce transmission rates. And it's critical that we reduce the transmission rates because that is what's going to allow us to keep kids in the classroom safely and not see major spikes in the virus. Students must stay six feet apart. If a school doesn't have enough space to do that, they can only be up to 50% capacity. That means a combination of in-class and online learning with alternating schedules. There's also no large gatherings in common areas. Lunchtime should be staggered so students can be distanced or meals served in classrooms. Of course, there will be more cleaning and students and staff will have to wear masks at school except for when eating or exercising. Parents we talk to are happy to hear about the safety precautions but question how practical they are. So as far as the PPE and whatnot, we understand that we need it, but if you think about kindergartners and first and second and third graders, it's going to be a little difficult, I think, to continue, continually keep the um, masks on. I'm wondering how realistic it is when you have, you know, 600, 700 kids in a lunchroom, and even if you separate them out, I'm, I'm just not sure how that's going to look. When it comes to transportation, schools are encouraged to stagger school time so buses won't be crowded. This may result in changing bus routes. There also will be no field trips. All staff will be screened and get a temperature check before heading into work every day. Back to you. Okay, Annalisa, and this could be a school year full of stops and starts. If a student or a staff member tests positive, their school will be closed for at least a day for deep cleaning and for staff to notify anyone who came into contact with that person so they can quarantine at home.